Hey friends, wanted to take a second and tell you a little bit about this little doohickey called the singing straw. So the singing straw is something that you get to use so you can do what we call straw phonation exercises. And straw phonation exercises are exercises that uh, help you to warm up your voice with by creating back pressure so that your vocal folds can open and close safely together and uh, stretch and warm up those muscles that are connected to the vocal folds. But it's a great way to um, decrease uh, tension and just, again, just warm up your voice in a safe way manner so this particular set comes with three straws i just ordered another one um, that has three straws that are different sizes but these three uh, straws all have the same size they are same diameter and when you use them all together it's like you're using a bigger straw so you could use just a regular straw that you get from um a, a restaurant or you know something like that but what i've found is that if I'm ready to do some warm ups like this morning, I'm on my way to a singing um, at an event this morning and I don't have any straws in my car. So I wouldn't be able to do that, but I reached in my vocal athlete pack and I grabbed my singing straw set. And so basically you just take this and you do what we call sirens. And that is just making sounds going, ooh, Right? So you can do sirens with humming or using them uh, doing a vowel like oh or a. Hey. But when you use a straw, the straw acts as an extension of the vocal tract and it allows again to create back pressure around the vocal folds that just allows them to stretch and lengthen safely without any tension or any um, issues with with da that could damage your your vocal cords so here it is i just use all three of them at the same time when i first start and i would just do a low siren just to kind of get the vocal folds moving and then as i gradually uh increase or continue my my exercise I'll do different melodic uh, changes within the siren. So I would go from that one siren and then I would go to And the other cool thing about doing an SOVT exercise like this or like lip trills is that it allows your breath support to be connected to the sound. So the, the more you uh, open your mouth and there's more air coming out of your mouth, the more support is needed in the breath to make that sound. So you may start with hums and then you move to lip trills and then you move to a, a straw phonation. And as you move to those different exercises, you'll notice that it becomes a little bit more difficult, but that is because you can add more breath support to make that sound. So once we have completed the uh, SOVT exercises, then I move to a full open vowel exercise of singing on an A or an A or E or O, and then just continuing to warm up my voice using different sounds that will prepare me for singing in a healthy manner. So if you're interested in getting these, which I, I strongly encourage you to do so, I think every singer needs a, singing, a set of singing straws, visit laruehoward.com. There'll be a link for you to go to the singing straw link, and then you can get your set there. Or comment below and I'll send you my personal affiliate link. And I will see you on the other side of your straw phonations. Take care.